In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this cool explosion zoom effect in four simple steps. Explosions, zooms, sound effects, and shakes. First step of this effect is to copy your clip to the side. We will use it to mask out the car later. Open the clip in Fusion. Find Tracker. Move the tracker to a high contrast point. Change adaptive mode to best match and then track the mask. Open your media pool and find the explosion video. I'll leave a link for the clip in description. Connect the node to the tracker. Select the tracker node and go over to Operation and change it to Match Move. Open keyframe window from the top right of the screen. Click on the drop-down arrow next to Media in 2 and then hit this icon. Now you can adjust where the explosion starts. Once you are satisfied with that, close the window and find Transform. Connect it like I have. Adjust the transform values so the explosion sits well in the video. After that, copy the tracker node. Open the keyframe window, click on the drop-down arrow next to tracker 1-1 and delete all of the keyframes from it. Then move the tracker to another high contrast point and track the video. Once the tracking is done, copy the rest of the nodes and connect them to the tracker. In the keyframe window, change the timing on the second explosion. Once that's good, adjust the position, scale and rotation of the explosion so it fits well with the rest of the video. Go back to the editing page and open the copied clip in the color page. Take your pen tool and mask out the car. Once you've masked the car, go to the tracking window and hit this icon to track the mask both ways. If your tracker tracked the mask poorly, hit this frame button and fix the mask manually. After that, go to the node section, right click and add alpha output. Go back to masking window and add some feathering to smooth out the mask. Drag the clip on top. Now the explosions are done, but we still need the zooms, shakes, and sound effects. Combine both of the clips into one new fusion clip. Open the compound clip in the fusion page. Find transform. Go to the point where the first explosion starts and make a keyframe for center and size. Move 10 to 15 frames forward and zoom in to the explosion. Move forward another few frames and make keyframes, but don't adjust anything. Then move forward 10 to 15 frames and zoom into the other explosion. Then again forward, but don't adjust anything. And finally go forward about 20 to 30 frames and reset the values. Open spline window and select size and center. Highlight four points at a time and press S to smooth them out. If you try to highlight all of the points, the zoom will look weird. If you aren't satisfied with the zoom yet, open keyframes window. There you can adjust the timing of the zooms. Click on the drop-down arrow next to transform and highlight the points and then move them. Make sure to apply motion blur to the zooms by clicking on Settings and then Motion Blur.
Once that's done, you can drag the sound effects into the timeline. Make sure to accurately match them to the explosion. The last step is to add some shakes when the explosions happen. Start by dragging an adjustment layer onto the timeline, on top of everything. Cut it to the right size. Open it in Fusion page and then find Camera Shake. In the beginning, make overall strength value 0 and move few frames forward. Make the value something like 0.6 and turn it back to 0 in the end. Make sure edges are turned to mirror. Copy the adjustment clip and move it to where the other explosion starts. Make the clip longer. Open it. In Fusion Page, on the keyframe window, drag the last keyframe almost to the end. That's basically it.